van tour, van tour, and we're doing a van tour. <laughs> What's up everybody? I'm doing another video here. Yeah, I mean, this man needs no introduction, but just in case he does, his name is Keon. I love him. We're actually going to talk a lot about his van this, this time. Yeah. We didn't really talk much about that van last we, time. No, we didn't. Uh, but he got a new van. He sold, I don't even know what you call that other one. The Brooklyn Loft one? The Brooklyn Loft yeah, van. Yeah. I love it. And now he's got his new creation. Absolutely adore because it's a different layout and you guys know that I love different. We're going to get all the information from my man Keon right now. Here we go. Yo, man, what have you been up to? Uh, everything's good, man. I got a new van. I'm here in the same exact parking lot as I met and did the last video. Yeah, our last video did pretty good, and I got, I'll got i be reading all the comments, and people are jealous of our bromance, so. I think they were. They were. For okay. sure they were. Absolutely. Um, but this time we're going to talk about the van. We'll talk about the van. Oh, well, how is Brooklyn Loft? Have you, have you seen it? Have you heard? Oh, someone got the van, purchased it, and changed literally the whole layout. They, no. They gutted half of it and painted everything like a bright green color or well, something. Well, you know like what, it's their like van, white. they can do what they want. They can, they can. So shout out to them, but it's still up and running. Um, I missed that van, that was my baby, that was my first build, but we're on to bigger and better things now. Yeah, what's the van make model? So I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Pro Masters just because it's more square than anything. I mean, Mercedes are nice too, but they, I don't know, that angle I don't really like too much, but I'm still with the Ram Pro Master 2500, 159 wheelbase, 2019. Uh, this van has about 37,000 miles, but should we take a look inside? Yeah, I would love to. I'm okay. going to step in first. We're going to start at the front. This is the lounge area right here. So I have a full part, part like an L-shaped um bench right here okay just for lounging so you can i've slept this way plenty of times like naps yeah i take naps on here too i don't sleep on here at like at night time we're gonna my, get to that for my bed yeah i'll show you guys where the bed is but um yeah kind of sleep here it's nice because this is like a huge nook so if i wanted to i can lean back up against here and i could put my my legs this way and i have a full view out the sliding door this way or if i wanted to lay completely you know, down. I do have all this room here where I can kind of. And, and you're, you know, you're a tall me. individual. I am. I'm, I'm about six one, so it fits me perfectly. My favorite is this, this corner right here. Okay. And this is nice too, just to be able to do that. So, really like the corner here. It has a sliding door that gets you to the cab. You do have to step over this, but I just kind of did this just for emergencies. So if you did want to um, get to the cab, if it's raining or if it's super cold or whatever reason you don't want to go outside, you can climb through this. More than likely, I just walk out the side door and just... And go on the front? And just go cool. in the front and get in the cab. You're from Maryland. I am from Maryland. You're from Maryland. You've been out in San Diego now for a year. I've been here for like three years now. Okay. Yeah, probably going on three years. How's it been? It's great. Yeah. Uh, San Diego is great for van life, man. I post up in a lot of places of, by the beach and there's other van lifers there. Most of the parking is just like overnight, which is super nice and no one's bothering you. Um, I have a one wheel too, so I'm always one wheel into the store, um, to the grocery store, to any supermarket, anywhere that I need to go and I can just kind of leave my van right by the beach and don't have to really worry about it. You also got this cool thing feature you put in. Oh yeah, I do, I have a skylight. And it's almost a dome too. So this is the same skylight that I put above my bed in my first van if you guys remember that book and law um it's literally the same thing it does not open up but it is a dome so it has like some space so you can kind of like poke your head like up in there kind of like look around but it's nice moon shines through there the sun shines through there and i do have covers for all the windows too but let me show you guys the sliding door please so the sliding door is all greenery here and it does have a screen window so this opens up and then it can also open up so Kind of like a drive-through. And the look in here is just so welcoming and homey. For I just, sure. I guess there's a home feel to it. It does have a home feel to it. Man, you just changed it up. Like you went from Brooklyn Loft to, I don't even know what this would be. You're very you're very California on me now. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, the aesthetics are the aesthetics are cool. It's not really my forte. I really like the my Brooklyn Loft. I really love the brick, the earthy colors, the browns and the blacks and stuff like that. So, but this is for, this is for everyone. This is kind of, to brighten it up and people like bright stuff you know what i mean mm -hmm. so it's kind of trying to cater to them i'm standing in your kitchen area we're going to get to that in a minute but where do you sleep i sleep so i have a murphy bed so mm. if you turn the camera that way <laughs> <laughs> yeah so this wall here this is pretty much the murphy bed um yeah i put i had some fabric on this too and it has like a little um 
like outpost here on the on the top of it made out of plywood. But yeah, this this folds down. The only thing that you pretty much have to do is just move these two cushions. So I move if I move these two and I sit them out of the way. Usually I just like sit them over here or I sit them on a the counter or. If, my floor wasn't so dirty because I've had a ton of people walk in here. I am at VanFest and people in their dirty shoes walk in and out of here and I hate it. So uh, now I can't put my cushions on the floor because I don't want them to get dirty. So if I move this down, there's a lock in the corner here. So you just kind of stick your finger in this lock. Nice. And this bed is spring powered too. So it comes all the way down. Oh, you can You can stand over here if you wanted to. Oh, I can see you got a little. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 I like it. I like it. I like it. But it comes down like that. It's the size of this bed when well, it's all down. So this bed is pretty big. It's actually six feet long by five feet wide. So wow. it comfortably fits two people. So. Wow. That's a real, it's a really good job. Yeah, man. It's, it's super comfortable too. This is where all the magic happens. We, we like to hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you got inspired by one of your favorite van lifers. Yeah, Brandon Buck SD. I'm pretty sure everybody knows him. Um, uh, my his, channel, yeah. Yeah, on on your channel for sure. His vans are great. I love his. He has pretty much like, kind of like an L shape and like a Murphy bed that sits mm -hmm. behind it. So that's pretty much why I got that. You just did it in a different location. Um, Cause he doesn't he do it further back? Yeah, he does his in the back. Yeah, he yeah. does his in the complete back. I wouldn't mind in the front just so like you can kind of sit and have the sliding door open and look out that way. Um, Can I ask you, the hooks that are above your head, does that have a purpose? Uh, they do have a purpose. I actually have a hidden shower in here. So pretty much how you do that, you gotta move these once again, because, <laughs> yeah, that's what you Because multi-purpose in just, vans. You just got, you gotta do what you gotta do. Damn, that's a shower? Yep, so inside of here, you move this out of the Oh my way, goodness. And then there's a shower inside of there. Damn. It has all my stuff in there, so. Okay, yeah. okay. Have you but, used um, it? I have, I use it like twice a day. Yeah, oh, that's I, right, you love your showers. Right. I take showers all the time. I don't play no games, y'all. <laughs> I I'm forgot about that. You. I'm trying to tell you, I don't play no game. I take showers all the time. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to be, you know, I'm not, make, like I said in the first video, I'm not making fun of everybody else. If they don't shower, that's their choice. But me, I'll be clean. All right, so you don't, do you not use Planet Fitness? Because um, I, I meant, I'm going to say this, so hopefully this is not offending you. You look, you look damn good. You know, you've been working Hold out. On, let me flex for him real quick. Yeah, please, man. Check this out. I, I was big. I lost a couple, I lost a couple pounds. You know a what couple. I mean? You got, you watch good. this, watch this. Oh my. You got to put some sound effects on it. You got to I mean, I'll put some. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate the compliments, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to cut down and look good for the ladies. I, well, you look, you looked good before for the ladies, but now you appreciate look even better. But I, I appreciate let it. me ask you this, you know, so are you using the gym showers at all? I do use the gym showers. Okay. It, it's more, it, it is convenient, but let's say if I don't go, to, there's a day I don't go to the gym mm -hmm. and I'm just tired and I do have the option to shower in the van, which is nice. If you could put a shower in your van, I highly recommend it. Um, because that time, that way you don't really have to go anywhere just to take a shower. Like having that at your disposal is super nice as a shower. I love the convertible showers, like how you have it Yeah, here. for sure. Mine's is always hidden. And yeah, I like that. It just comes out whenever I need to. I oh, like and that. then I do have this little storage space right here where my shower mat goes. <laughs> yeah. So, so when you get out of the shower, you don't step your wet feet on the ground. Exactly. So oh, wow. You are. That. That's thinking See, outside the box. I'm smart thinking, man. <laughs> I've never Ain't nobody said you were... think of that. Nobody has. Who got a shower mat? In they van. The first to do it. No, ever. true story. True story. Ain't nobody doing that. I'm coming up with all types of ideas. I love it, man. mats in the van. All right, yeah, we're going to switch sides because now we're going to talk about pretty much the back of the van. You got this beautiful TV, by the way. Oh, yeah, that is. And it's framed out, too. So I watch a lot of movies and I play video games, as you guys may know. So I have to have the TV in here. This looks good. I yeah. mean, I'm comfy right now. Yeah, for sure. You're, you're sitting there and it's just it's more for hosting. This van is for hosting, bringing your friends. And you can also live in it, too, if you wanted to. It has the bed. It has a toilet. I'm not going to show you the toilet. Y'all remember that? I'm not showing the toilet, but this toilet lies in here. All right, well, can you say what kind of toilet you use? Uh, it's a cassette toilet. So it's either a Thetford or a Dometic, whatever uh -huh. it is. I believe it's a, it's a Dometic. Okay. Yeah, it's a Dometic cassette toilet, but it cassette lies toilet. inside of that. Um, but you can also sit there and put your legs up on that. I'm not, I got my way. boots on. I don't, yeah, don't want to do no, that. No, I mean, your, your cushions are nice and beautiful. Please yeah. don't, he said. Yeah. <laughs> but is this a chill spot? Are we going to have some adult beverages in here later? Um, you can, yeah. This can turn into a bar. It can turn into like a little restaurant if you want to serve for your friends. And also, this TV swivels out, oh, too. Oh, damn. 
So it swivels out from the wall and it can face that way. So if the bed's down and you want to lay to your head towards the partition wall, you can. And then the TV faces literally that way. For those that don't remember, you were in your Brooklyn Loft van. You were a gamer. You still are, I'm uh -huh. assuming. Do you I, still game in I, here? I game all the time. What do you have for a uh, gaming console in I here? Just, I'm still on a PS4. Uh, you guys, I don't know. A lot of people added me on my um, PlayStation. And I'm still playing the same game, Overwatch. What's your name on Overwatch? Uh, still Dirty Vans, bro. Dirty Vans, bro. I got you. So I changed my Instagram. I was Dirty Vans, bro, but I changed it to a more professional name because all my friends kept telling me to do that. So I agree. And what is it on Instagram it's now? It's Keon Tillman. Keon Tillman. Right here. Yeah. Oh, boy. Damn. At Keon Tillman. There it is. <laughs> yeah, so that's me. I have a huge kitchen space here. I'm a foodie and I love cooking. So I love that I can meal prep over here. I can cut up all my vegetables and my onions while I'm cooking. And then I also have this sink over here too, accessible for when I wanna wash, so I can have everything just like going at one time. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's no extent, uh, there's no like no pop-up that I need. I just have all the kitchen counter here. Then I have like a little window here. Um, I have a light above the stove and this light's dimmable. So I made this myself and it shines right on the food. So that way you, Damn. yeah, cause you don't want you, you don't want to be burning your food up. So you got to see what you're doing. I have a fridge here and I have food in there. Uh huh. And it has a freezer in there too. So fridge, freezer combo. How did you come up with the U shape kitchen? Cause that's where it's, I mean, I, I don't think I've seen this. Yeah, I have, I'd never seen it in anyone's van all, either. Want it to be as different as possible. Everyone either has in the back their bed, like two benches and something pops up in the middle and I wanted to do something completely different. So I was in here for hours taping out the floor and just like, how can I make this, this layout different from anybody else? You know what I mean? Like, how can I make this into a lounge? Like, so you can have multiple friends over because some people have vans where you only have like, only two people can sit in there and mm. you kind of have to have everybody sitting outside. I'm not really sure. I was going to do maybe, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. That's a really good question, but the van came out perfect. Um, the U-shaped kitchen area is lovely and it's a lot of space for you to cook. And you also have a two burner induction stove right here too, which is super nice. Um, I have all my, my knives and silverware hanging up on here. You got you, you have some, some, some lemon avocado oil because I'll be whipping it up. I'll be cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, all the lights are dimmable here. Is it out of sight, out of mind, uh, do you have a heater? I do have a heater. It's actually inside of this bench right here, too. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you so got that, that diesel heater. Yeah, that di I love the diesel heater. So it sits right underneath the bed. I love them. I like when they're underneath the bed because the heat rises right above the bed. Mm. And then it's just like onto you and keeps you nice and warm. The game changers in the van, if you're somewhere that's cold, is a heater and a shower. So those two are the, like like i cannot i can like i have to i highly recommend those two do you have accessible to hot water i do so i have a hot water tank and i have this lovely um timer switch right here too that has oh. like yeah you can this is my control panel so it has like a 15 minute 30 minute 20 minute got that from amazon and i can literally like before i drive or something mm. or as i'm like setting up a shower i'll just click 20 minutes but it usually takes like 15 minutes for it to to get completely hot. It just depends on how cold the water is. Yeah, so we can talk a little bit about electrical too. I was about to say, what's your power like? Yeah, so my power, I have 416 amp hours of lithium batteries. I have a 3000 watt inverter. Dope. Um, for the solar on top, I have over 400 watts of um, solar power. I believe it's like 450. Um, of solar. The only two things that are, are huge that are electrical are, are, is the stove and then the Bosch um, hot water tank. So. And then if you're open to it, uh, look, people have been just on me about asking pricing. Pricing. Yeah, if you're open to it. I'm open to it. Uh, so the pricing of this van is eighty-five thousand. All right. Eighty-five thousand. Yeah. Of what you're of what you're charging to sell. Of what I'm charging to sell. Yep, yeah. So that's for me. But okay. yeah, this is a fun van. I've hosted in here plenty of times. I've had like four or five people in here while I'm back here cooking and just having these windows and this door open. I mean, I can show you guys what it looks like when the door is open, but having these doors open and having this crazy view while you're sitting here cooking or is really nice. Our view right now is, a, is actually another van, but why don't you open that up? That's a good segue to the back because I'll for come sure. out there after. For sure. Right now he's opening up the back doors and look at this. If I was just sitting here, Man, how many times, I'm just gonna ask you, have you been cooking right here? You got your skillet going, and you got, you got the beach right where that van is at. How about that? 
It's nice. Is it nice? It's really nice. How you many put, times you been doing that? Uh, a couple of times, man. I, the nicest one I did was I was in Joshua Tree, and um, was kind of sitting on the desert, and there was nothing out there. There's mountains and man. sunny day, and I'm just like whipping it. I'm just like cooking some veggies and some a nice meal, and then I play my game right after and stuff. So it's super nice. Oh man! All right, Keon, I am now in the back with you. It looks like not only do you have your indoor shower, you got an outdoor shower. Sure do. Is yep. that just for washing stuff off or? Um, no. This is this is you can wash stuff off. Um, wash stuff. You can wash <laughs> stuff off. With okay. It. But um, yeah, you, you do have the option back here for hot water. And you also have another option for a shower too, if you follow me this way. So there's another option here. So this little port right here is for this. I mean, if you got a dog or if you if got, you got dog, bikes or... If you're at the beach and you wanna wash off your feet before you get inside, you also have this right here. So you do have a little bit of a garage uh -huh. and you have your pride and joy. Yep, the one wheel. <laughs> yeah, if you guys know us, we're always riding our one wheels around. Those things are super fun and nice. You kind of just park and you don't really have to drive to the grocery store or anything. But yes, for that, it also has a 120 volt outlet in there too. So if you okay. wanted to charge up anything, you can. And I will say for those people that are like, I need storage. I need, first of all, you get a bunch of storage, but you can yep. also do exterior storage. Yep, you could, you could. Yeah, all the all the rest of the benches, other than that shower, is all storage. Wow. And yeah, and also you also have a pop-up table back here, made out of ply bill. So if you're serving and you're cooking, you can be out here, you know, making up your sandwich or someone's passing you drinks. You can hold your drinks right here. And you did it. I love it. I think you're thinking outside the box. Now, if you do sell this, mm -hmm. you deserve what your asking price is. Yeah. If you do sell this, are you going to try and maybe come up with another oh, different yeah. key on floor plan? Oh, yeah. the, the next one's going to be crazy. Have if you already thought about it? Uh, kind of, yeah. I, okay. I kind of have some idea of what it's going to be, but if I do do another one, it's going to be crazy. Even crazier than this one. I this mean, one. you're even promoting your boy over here. Yeah, for you, sure. You shout, out to, shout out to Nick, SoCal Custom Van. Okay. I, I'm okay. there too, you know what I mean? So, yeah. You part-time working? Uh, not for him, but I do my own separate thing there. Okay. Yeah. So if anyone's interested in the van, if you have any questions for me, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram. I post very goofy and weird stuff on there. So if you want to see this personality more, follow me on Instagram. I'm at Keon Tillman. It's just my name. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Keon, because I, I, I love following your stuff. I think you are a goofy. goofy and I want dude. my merch too. Uh, from me. From him. Yeah. Yes. I've will, been asking him for merch for the longest time and he still hasn't got it. Too. All right, I'm gonna get my I'm gonna not only get my merch line up and running, I'm gonna actually hand deliver my merch yes. to my man Keon. I want him to bless me with it. I wanna just I'm gonna it. get down on one knee and I'm gonna hand it to you like yes. you should have been handed my merch this whole time. All right, Keon. Well thank you so much for showing me the Keon special number two. Well thank it. you again, buddy, and I can't wait to see you again next time. Appreciate it. Later.